Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's show. And on today's show, we have uh, a, a very lovely guest. Her name is Florence Chetita Mumbamlenga, and she's a she's a pharmacy student at Visual Campus. Welcome, Florence. Thank you for having me, Kelvin. Uh, thank you for being here. So, Florence, um, you know, for those people who may be watching us for the first time and may not know who you are, would you just briefly uh, tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, well, my name is Florence Mlenga and I am 22 years old. I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's degree in pharmacy at the University of Zambia. I love photography, I love traveling, I love innovation, I love creativity, and I love poetry. Yes, so that's about me. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, have you always wanted to be a pharmacist? Well, I'm someone who really, really wanted to do many things, especially when I was in high school. I wanted to be an economist, I wanted to be an, a journalist, <laughs> I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be so many, many, many things. But then one thing I knew is that I was very passionate about science. So um, as time went by, um, I used to notice my aunt who did pharmacy. She knew everything about um, drugs, so um, I was really, really intrigued when I saw that. So I was mm-hmm. like, "What is this pharmacy exactly?" So as time went by, she got to tell me a little bit about pharmacy, and I decided, you know, this is what I'm going to do because I've always wanted to know why such a small mole- molecule is capable of curing someone or being of help to someone's life. So yeah, that's how it started. Okay. So um, you have quite a number of awards that you've you've managed to you know to achieve over the past uh, you know couple of years. Uh, can you briefly tell us about those? So the first award I got was um, Fem Biobee's Best Student Startup Idea, which was in 2019. For an, an idea I conceptualized about having an anti asthma body spray. So basically, you just use this body spray on you and it targets the receptors in your respiratory system so that um, an asthmatic patient is, um, is prevented from going into an asthmatic attack because initially in asthma, your lungs undergo constriction. So that's what I was trying to. Um, point out in that competition and I actually won. That was filmed by our bees in 2019 and then in 2019 again itself I won another competition using the same concept which was the Zambia Entrepreneurship Summit, the Student Startup Idea and and then later on I was awarded in 2020 as the Young Pharmaceutical Innovator of the Year by the Pharmaceutical Society of Zambia and then just after that I was awarded by the National Youth Development Council under the Medical and Technological um, Innovation Award National Youth Award, yes. So they were giving National Youth Awards. This was a partnership with the Ministry of Higher Education and the Ministry of Youth and Sports. So I think, oh yeah, and I also recently won another global competition called Bosby's Pitch Fest. Mm -hmm. For this one, we won it as as a team with a different idea. So yeah, it's not, it doesn't, it's, it's not, it doesn't have to do with the science. It has to do with entrepreneurship. So yeah, those are the awards so far. That's, that's amazing. You know, uh, how, 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 how do you do it? Like what gives you the drive to continue working this hard? I mean, cause it, it can be easy uh, achieving so much at, uh, at such a young age, but yet you're an inspiration to, to a lot of people. So how, how do you keep up the momentum? Thank you for asking that question. <laughs> well, um, I remember I recently watched Dr. Miles Monroe talking about if you have to die, then you have to die empty. What he meant was that um, if you have to leave this world, ensure that you have offloaded your God-given purpose. You have fully offloaded it. Like you have brought it out to the world and 
when you're dying, you're not even worried about saying, I haven't achieved my God-given purpose. So for me, it's just about striving and achieving my God-given purpose. And, and I believe as someone defined success, success is having impact on people's lives. And if you want to have impact on people's lives, if you want to bring positive change to society or, have to, or if you want to have social impact, you need to just continuously work hard and continue to inspire so that even the generation that comes after you um, is already motivated, you know, they already have something to look up to so that they can even do way better than you did. So for me, it's all about having social impact and achieving my God-given purpose. Wow, no, I feel inspired right now. <laughs> so uh, what advice would you have for for a second year, third year, fourth year, or any other people who may, who, who may be listening to this show and you know wants to be pharmacists or wants to endeavor in the field of science okay um you know science is is something that if you're not passionate about it you're going to be frustrated like i promise <laughs> so first of all start with a desire start with a passion like are you passionate about it and if you discover that you're actually really really passionate about it then go for it you know, um, one thing I've realized is that something becomes difficult because you told your mind or your brain that it's difficult. You just need to tell your brain that it's not difficult and I'm going to do it and I'm going to achieve it. So even as you are coming to achieve anything in the science related field, come with the drive and the motivation, knowing that you can do all things, that nothing is difficult. So yeah, you, it's, you're going to love it. Like uh, one thing I love about science is that it gives you so much room for innovation you know you can think of anything anything you can decide to combine two chemicals and there you are solving global problems you know uh, being out there yeah being the solution to the world so science is something that gives you room for innovation so it, it's a very good choice but just make sure you are passionate about it awesome so Florence um, you know doing so much and uh, you know uh, also being in school how is it that how do you manage your time you know so that you can fit in all these programs you know you have time to conceptualize ideas how, how do you manage your time well I believe that we're all given 24 hours in a day right so um, you find that um, people don't really um, make schedules for their day. It's very important for you to make a plan for your day each and every day so that you know how you're going to use each and every minute and each and every hour. So um, for me, it's all about time management, you know. <laughs> I've seen a lot of seminars about time management and all that. The thing is that we keep attending these seminars because we, keep, we don't apply these things. We want to go and attend and attend and attend and not apply and not apply. So reach to that point where you actually apply these things and manage your time wisely, you know. Have time to study, have time to think out of the box. It's very important for you to allocate time to just think, you know, to, to envision your future or to think about how you can be a solution to the world. So yeah, have time for each and everything for your day and just manage your time wisely, honestly. That's what I can say. So don't attend seminars without having a plan of actually doing what the seminars talk about. Okay. And uh, do, you, do you believe in mentorship? Totally, 100%. Okay. Do you have a mentor that yes, has helped you through up to this point? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Um, can you tell us briefly about your mentor? Well, my mentor is my pastor at church. Okay. My pastor is is uh, has achieved so many academic qualifications and you know he's running a very big church and you get to ma you get to wonder how he's managing all these things all at once. So he gets to mentor us on how to manage our academic affairs and how to manage even uh, our social life and all those things our spiritual life as well. So <clears throat> I would, I would also like to talk about how he, you know, publicity comes with a lot of pressure, you know, it's not easy, you know, that's why you have a lot of people like going into depression because of publicity or all those things. So he teaches us how to handle publicity as well, like if you're in the public setup, 
you he teaches us how to manage that area so i feel he's my mentor in various ways so yeah he is seeing how mentorship has personally impacted you and how it has been positive in your life do, do you have a mentee yourself you know somebody that you want to grow an organization in Nigeria had reached out and asked me to be um, a mentor in one of their programs and they assigned a mentee to me and I've been working with that girl. Her name is Gloria, she's from Nigeria. So yeah, I, I do have mentees and I feel in as much as I teach them and advise them, they also help me, you know, work hard so that I can live up to what they, they are expecting. <laughs> So yeah. Okay. So <laughs> tell tell us what do you like about yourself and um, what's unique about you? What do I like about myself? Well, um, what I like about myself is how I don't easily give up, you know, and how I just grab a hold of opportunities. You know, even when I know that I'm not qualified for what I am about to <laughs> pursue, I go for it. You know, I don't give up and I just love to take hold of those opportunities. Yeah. And I also love how easily I get inspired. I, I remember in high school, we would have a lot of people coming to talk to us, to inspire us. And people would walk out of the, those uh, conferences saying, ah, they just wasted our time, we should have been studying. But for me, each time I would attain those things, I would be so inspired. I would be, you know, motivated, wanting to achieve those things as well. So I love how I easily get inspired. That is truly amazing, Florence. So, uh, <clears throat> talking about inspiration, is that a constant inspiration that you have that keeps you pursuing your goals? You know, be it in pharmacy or in the field of innovation. Like, um, do I have someone who inspires yeah, well, me? Yeah. Well, um, when it comes to inspiration, that's a very difficult question for me because I have inspirations in different fields. You know, I have inspirations in the academic sec uh, setup, innovation, in life in general. For life, okay, let me let me just mention here. When it comes to life, it's obviously my mom. You know, she's a very strong woman and she's been through a lot and just how she's been able, able to overcome and achieve she's she's really a big inspiration for me she's such a strong woman and when it comes to innovation i'll mention a few like thomas edison i'll also mention um john john pemberton the man behind the coca-cola formula you know like how he was just able to come up with such a very unique syrup in his backyard like that's, that was very encouraging so all the way from 1885 we've been drinking something that was formulated all the way back into 1885 up to now we are still drinking it so that was really really innovative and then you have people like dr tedros um the world the director general of the world health organization we have oprah winfrey so I, okay i just have different inspirations i get inspiration from different sources even just my fellow friends my fellow peers and here and there so yeah okay uh, tell us we are living in in covid 19 pandemic and as much as this has become the new normal um it's affected a lot of people differently do you how's how's COVID nineteen impacted you personally or impacted your life? Okay, so COVID nineteen has had its negatives and its positives, but I'll focus on the positives mostly. I feel this during the lockdown was the period where I got to grow. Like I just had that um, personal growth. Like I had that moment where I started reading a lot of books, you know. Before COVID-19, I never used to read a lot of books. So I'd just be like, oh, okay, there's that book. Okay, I'll read it some other time. But because of COVID-19, that whole lockdown situation, it gave me time to improve myself, like spiritually, financially, emotionally, every area of my life. So it was a blessing in disguise. But of course, it did have negatives. I mean, we lost a lot of people. But um, yeah, I'm only going to focus on the positives because, um, yeah, 
we we need to focus on the positives most of the time in life <laughs> yes but yeah okay okay and so um you are doing pharmacy now uh what do you see yourself say in the next 10 years um probably the director general of the world health organization <laughs> that's amazing uh, yeah and also i would like to be a financial investor investing in a lot of startups i feel there are a lot of great ideas out there they just don't have the platform they just don't have the money for it so i'd like to invest in a lot of startups especially in this country so in this country and probably the sub-saharan region of africa and we'll see maybe the world at large but i would like to invest in a lot of startup startups i believe in young people and their ideas not just young people but also whatever age you are so long as you can bring a startup and it looks scalable and marketable to me then yeah uh, that's that, that's what i would want to do it's really been amazing having you on the show, Florence Mlenga. You are an inspiration to many of us. And please continue doing the amazing things that you, you are doing. Continue inspiring people and you are destined for great things. Thank you so much for having me. I'm grateful and it's such an honor. Yeah, here we are now and thank you for having me. Okay. It's really an honor. So let's shout at three Happy Women's Day, I guess. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three. Happy, happy Women's, Women's Day! Day. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>